he had made, and it was very good. The Lord said, it is not good for man and woman to be alone. I will make a helper suitable for him. Then he brought her to man. In this act, God himself performed the first wedding ceremony and set the example for all time. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and is united to the wife, and they become one flesh. We are gathered here today in the sight of God to witness the man and woman in holy matrimony. These are the hands of your best friend, young and old, full of love for you, that are holding yours on your wedding day. As you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever, these are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years with the slightest touch comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will tenderly hold your children. These are the hands that will help you hold your family together. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled in age will still be reaching for yours. Still give you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. Today is a day you will always remember, the greatest in anyone's life. You'll start off the day just two people in love and end it as husband and wife. It's a brand new beginning, a start of a journey with moments to cherish and treasure. And although there'll be times when you both disagree, it will surely be outweighed by pleasure. You will have heard many words of advice when the secret of marriage was spoken. But you know, the answer lies hidden inside, where the bond of true love lies unbroken. So live happy forever as lovers and friends. It's the dawn of a new life for you both. As you stand here together with love in your eyes, from the moment you whisper, I do, and with help from God, may all your hopes and dreams be successful. Tomorrow can bring you the greatest of joy, but today is the day it all starts. Do you often take Julie to be your lawful wife? And do you solemnly promise before God and these witnesses to love, honor, and comfort her? Keep her in sickness and health, forsaking all others, keeping only her so long as you both shall live. Do you, Julie, take Austin to be your lawful husband? And do you solemnly promise before God and these witnesses to love, honor, and comfort him, keeping him in sickness and health, forsaking all others, keep only unto him as long as you both shall live? Do you have the pledge ring of love, Austin? So as you place the ring on the left hand, repeat after me. With this ring, I thee wed and pledge you my love from this day forth. Julie, do you have the pledge ring? As you place the ring on the left hand, repeat after me. <clears throat> With this ring, I thee wed and pledge you my love from this day forward. Okay, Matthew 19, 6, it says, Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate. By the authority vested in me in the state of West Virginia and as a minister of the gospel, I now pronounce you husband and wife. As a sign of your love for one another, you may now kiss the bride.